David is called a man who is after God's own heart. What does that mean to be a man or person after God's own heart? The way many interpreters have read this is to say that there's something about David uh, that's special that we should imitate. Uh, somehow we tend to think that, oh, David is a man who's after God's own heart, therefore David's heart is close to God. Um, but this isn't the meaning of the phrase. This is a statement about God's heart. So let me show you something in Hebrew. Uh, David being a man after God's own heart appears in 1 Samuel 13 when uh, Saul is being told that he is no longer going to receive God's favor and your kingdom will not continue and Yahweh has sought out a man after his own heart. Yahweh has appointed him to be ruler over his people. Now, after his own heart, the word heart in Hebrew is lave, uh, which really is mind. Uh, you make your decisions with your, with your heart, with your mind. That's why when Pharaoh, uh, when his heart is hardened, that's why his decisions are the, what they are. You, you make your decisions with your lave. And so David is after God's, his, lave. Yahweh has sought out a man after his mind. Uh, now, David also brings this up when he is celebrating the covenant that Yahweh makes with him in 2 Samuel 7. Because of your promise, David says, and according to your own heart, you have wrought all this greatness so that your servant may know it. Uh, and it's the same construction there. We have lave, and then we have the key, the uh, after, although here the translations go according to, and then we have the possessive uh, at the end. Uh, your own heart, now David's speaking to Yahweh, um, but it's the same construction, according to his own heart, according to your own heart. Uh, so in that first instance, uh, you could say that Yahweh is, uh, has sought out a man according to his own heart, God has made the decision. God has chosen David. It's a statement about God. It's a statement about David being chosen by God, but it's not a statement about uh, why he has been chosen. The same construction appears in Psalm 20. May he grant you your heart's desire. Well, here we have the lave and the key and the possessive. Uh, at the end. May he grant you uh, according to your heart. The phrase David being a man after God's own heart is to say that David has been chosen by God. Now, why does this matter? Well, it's very easy to slip into a trap to think we need to be like David. And then we might think, I need to, and you look at the positive things that David um, embodies. And there are some of them. You say, I need to be, him like, be like David in this way. I need to be like David in this way, so that I can become a person who's after God's own heart. There's nothing you can do to earn God's love. There's nothing David could do to earn God's love. Actually, when you read about David and Samuel and Kings, he doesn't always do things that we should imitate. Here's the truth. You already are a person after God's own heart. You've been chosen. The question is, how will we respond? 